Okay, here's a classic problem that uh, has always been around, um, and uh, maybe it hasn't always been around, but you don't see them as often as you used to. A lot of people used to travel by uh, ships, and lifeboats are hung off boats or hung off ships with what's called davits. Okay, so a davit is this. As long as I were going to do this, I might as well give you a little history on. Uh, let's put that in black. Let's make it a black boat. Okay, boat looks like this. The water's down here. You know, we got the portals up here. But the lifeboat would be hung on something like this that would hang the boat. Okay. And this curved piece right here is a davit. Okay. Now you can imagine, you can't just build a big upside down J without having it fastened properly to the boat. Okay. Or sometimes we need cables back on it and some other things. Okay. So this is kind of what we're looking at. So this would be, we could have, um, anchor here by bolts. We could have a cable that's more of a uh, cable, it's called cable stay, um, and that's to keep it from falling over along with the uh, lifeboat. Okay. All right, so classic problem and uh, a little history of sailing if you've never seen one, but we're going to do this. Um, we're going to look at um, a boat davit that is like so. Draw it. And we're going to come down. And I'm ever so carefully going to try and do a good art job here so you get the hang of this. Okay. And it goes up, meets a tension. And then we got a block and tackle in here. Okay. And this is point B. This is A. And then we have C on the boat. Okay. And the boat's going like this. Okay. So that's anchored down here at C. But we have a point down here where we put a cable to. Okay. And, oops, sorry, that didn't go in the right place. Um, it comes from point A back over to here. Okay. So cable stay is A, D. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we need on this thing. All right. So what we're going to look for is find the... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. moment about C. Okay. And when we're done, we should also be able to find the reaction or the resultant of force on A. All right. So we're going to play this out and see how it goes. All right. What we do know is this. Um, the um, rope, in this case, the cable stay comes up, goes over and back. Okay. So this is what's actually lowering the boat here. Okay. And we know that um, a, B, A to D is 82 pounds. Okay. Um, another thing I should bring out here too. So let's do this. And I'm just going to put a little hook on that. Okay. We're going to have 
two pulleys. Does this, does that, and goes over like so. Okay, and this is A, B, and D. Okay, so A to B and A to D will be the 82 pounds. Okay, we're gonna see pulleys uh, towards the end of this uh, course, so right now it's kind of a new thing, but just hang along and play with me here, and I think you'll get the gist of this. Okay. First part's pretty easy. Uh, we've done it a couple times now, so it shouldn't take too long to do this. All right, so let's uh, see what we know. Okay, all right, and I'm going to put this in black. All right, so given the tension in A, B, A, D is 82 pounds, okay? And this would only be for half the boat. The other half of the boat would have another uh, davit and go with that same thing. So, okay. All right. So here's the things just to get started. Again, it's, uh, oh, we better put some dimensions on this thing. That would be useful, wouldn't it? So we know we are from there over to here down to C is 7.75 7 feet. Okay. And we know the davit here is, this is three feet, okay? What else we know? We know from C to D, this is six feet, okay? And as you're going through this, I'm trying to use proper dimensioning so that if you ever have to give this over to somebody to do some drawings for you, they'll know where to put them. But I write the name, the letter and the units uh, horizontally at all times. The arrows for the dimension lines can go um, on the angle that they uh, match in that plane. Okay. All right. Nice piece of side bit news here. Okay. All right. So how to get started? Well, easiest thing to do is remember you're looking for the moment about C. What's the equation? Well, it's going to be R. A over C times the reaction at A, okay, or the resultant at A. Those are forces. We don't really know a whole lot of other things about it, okay, but this is where the I, J, and K stuff will come in. So um, we know that R A has to be two times F of A, B, and it goes back to my pulley, so there's two ropes that tie this together, okay? This one and this one, okay? That's one of it, plus the force in A, um, D, this way down through here, okay? So that'll help us out to a certain extent. Uh, not completely, but it is what's necessary, okay? So, okay, um, try to make sure I don't make a false assumption here that you're not getting this, but there is the tension um, between these two pulleys is combined by A and B and this one, okay? And then AD is the other. And of this, we can do this. I don't want an equal sign. What I want is this. I'm going to go look at point A. Here's my free body diagram. Get all this in. We're doing this. Force of AB times 2. And the force of AD. Okay, so we're looking at those things. All right, so let's write it this way. F of A, D, that vector is equal to F, A, D over A, D divided by A, D, okay? 
and we went back through this uh, earlier in a section here so 82 pounds and what I have is this so 6 um, I plus a negative 7.75 J plus a negative 3 K all right all divided by 10.25 all right and that's um, well let's go back through a review of this I guess so a a D would be the six feet here and the 7.75 feet there okay and that's where that's all coming from and then the fact that it's three out forward from um, the front of that so that's where I'm getting all those numbers from for those distances so when I get all said and done I am going to get um, 47.8 pounds in the I minus 61.7 pounds in the J minus 23.9 pounds in the K okay and then when you get down here I get um, the next one we're going to look for is F of a B all right and the cool part of this one is it only has one number 82 pounds in the J okay so now that I know those two I go back up and solve for RA so RA is equal to 2 times negative 82 pounds in the J plus 47.8 pounds in the I minus 61.75 oops 7 pounds yeah 7 pounds in the J minus 23.9 pounds in the K and if we play those numbers all out it will give us 47.8 pounds in the I minus 226 pounds in the J minus 23.9 pounds in the K everybody following along I hope all right so and we're gonna look at getting to the solution here so we know what RA is that helps um, and it's gonna be we need to know R a over C and we're going to be 7.75 feet in the J plus 3 feet in the K okay all right so that leaves us with doing a matrix so write it out never cheat on this bit so we have zero in the X all right so the first line is the RAC stuff and then we are 7.75 in the J and three feet there okay and then we are 47.8 in the I and we're 226 uh, negative 226 and a negative 23.9 um, in the J so 
just a red note off the side here. This is your R A C value, and this is your R A. Okay, so distances and force. All right, back to black. So we're going to set this problem up. I'm not going to do step by step with this, but let's do this. All right, just so I can uh, have some peace of mind here that you know what you're doing. Um, I, J, K, I, J. So that's three, uh, zero, seven. And sorry, my micro headset cut out again. Uh, 7.75. It's probably time to charge it. So this may be the last video for um, today. Negative 2, 2, 6, negative 23.9, uh, 47.8, and negative 2, 2, 6. Okay. So I've done this a couple times, but I'm going to do it. Um, go this go that, go there. Then minus um, this, that, whoops, they didn't turn red, did they? And that, okay? So blue, minus red, if that helps you at all doing this, and that'll get you to your moment of C. Okay. All right, so when I get done with this solution, what I get is this. M C is equal to 429 pound feet, all right, and that's in the I vector plus 144 pound feet in the J vector minus 372 pound feet and that's in the K. Okay, And that is your answer actually and that's all there is to that. Now why do you care? Why does this help out in the long run? Well so as you're looking at that davit and we're trying to design things later on, we're going to be interested in what's the moment in the x direction at C. Well, that's the answer right there. But also there's a moment in the j direction. So this thing has, um, down here at the base as this thing picks up, we are going to bend in that direction we are going to have a moment that's going to take this thing in um, that direction. I actually should do that a little differently. Let's see if I can do this just slightly differently to help you. So we got this. It's coming down. We are going to do this. And we got this base plate here. Bingo, 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 and some bolts tying it down, okay? And this Do it with some phantom lines. Is the shaft of the or the uh, part of the davit going vertical? Okay, so we're going to have a for a moment in the x that's going to bend it. Let's do this x. Uh, I'm going to go this way z and then y. Okay. So we'll have a moment about the x-axis that's going to go um, this way. And then the y-axis is going to have one that goes that way. And then the z is going to have one that goes this way. All right. Um, when we're done, moment about c and the x, moment about c and the z, moment about C and the Y. And that'll help us so much more with trying to solve problems uh, for things down the road.
So for instance, the moment about C and the Y is going to create a tension on the bolt to decide how what size bolts need to be put in there. Same with the X. The Z is not going to affect that except it could affect the shear of the bolts um, where X and Y is going to cause tension failure in the bolts. So that's why we want to do all this and where we're breaking it down. This bit right here, folks, is get back there. Strength of materials. So this is your next course. Okay, so a little insight to the future. I'm going to give a chance to get my headset charged up so they don't keep fading out on me, and I'll see you in the next video.